Hey, it's Lisa from Barkbusters. Okay, so out here doing a little uh, recall training with a uh, friend's dog. Her name is Bella, and uh, she's been staying with me for a couple of days. She's a rescue dog, and uh, she doesn't really know how to come. So we've just been working out here for about 20 minutes and teaching her how to come. So you're going to see a dog that uh, didn't know how to come, uh, and now a dog that does. So we're going to go to her now. She's distracted. I've got her on a 30-foot lead, so she can't uh, get in harm's way if she did choose to not listen or run away. So here we go. As you can see, she's distracted. Come on, come, 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 come. Look at you come. What a good girl. Yeah. As always, tone and uh, body language really help when working on recall and teaching your dog to come. You want to use a higher pitch tone. Encourage her from that first step. And um, also, you're going to lower your body height to make sure that she understands that you are a non-threatening, inviting place. She's going to look away from me now, so... Come, 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 come. I'm just going to give her a little correction because I didn't tell her to leave my side. So when she gets distracted, this is a good little game to practice. Um, if she thinks about leaving, you're going to give her a correction and let her know that's not what you want and then show her that you want her to come back and stay with you. And you get this. What a good girl. Are you a good girl, Belly? Good girl. Hi. Hello. Thanks for that. Oh, I know where your tongue has been. I have to go sanitize now.